Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for those who are returning and welcome for those who are new. So I'm trying something out. As y'all know, I got my iPhone 14 recently. Um, it's just a basic one and then I'm also using my camera mount at my desk. So I know it's cinematic. I think it has a auto focus. You're going to have to excuse the focal points and everything else that I am, again, testing this. So I have my commonplace brain dump book and I'm trying not to shake this uh, camera mount. Let me actually get my water. Okay, where was I? So I thought maybe I would do a discussion about planning. I'm going to um, actually move this angle. Let me see. Okay, I'm hoping this is uh, showing. I'm gonna use my, and I wanna get my calligraphy pen. And what I wanna do, I wanna write out, let me see. What was the title that I said? Okay, let's just talk. Okay, let me back up a little bit. Okay. Because I just want to chit chat for a minute. I'm going to get my daily planner. Okay. I wanted to show you my bag of the day. It is my... We're just chatting here. From viewer to content creator. Okay. I'm just going to chat for a little bit. Okay. So... I started out my channel discussing handbags. And by the way, excuse the background noise. My son is actually chatting with his friends online. Let me just get my... This is my everyday carry right now. My Pocket, the Meteorite Leather by Chic Sparrow. I am loving, loving, loving this thing. Oh, I don't want to move out of it. I miss it as soon as I switch. I've been switching between my tiny handbags and then my medium-sized handbags, which this I consider a medium-sized handbag the fossil. And actually, let me put this on. Let me just put this um, aside for a second. I'm gonna close this up. Because I'm just I'm I'm gonna be all over the place with this video. It's, it's not um, scripted or anything. I don't normally script my videos, just so you're aware. So there are bullet points that I want to cover and then I just kind of uh, talk. Um, yeah, so I haven't been posting a lot of handbags because I'm at that point where there's not much that I really want in my collection anymore. I already knew certain handbags that I wanted to get uh, in my collection. You probably won't see new handbags okay so i need to actually make more pages on this my list book has all my lists and then i kind of decorated this recently the cover of my weekly can i show you this week okay i'll just show you this upcoming week i haven't really written anything yet i'm gonna probably cover the names and i've already made subwary i think ah here it is okay so I've already made my February. There are some that I use the uh, moleskin. So these are the moleskin pocket inserts. Ooh, I don't like the way that this focuses. Okay, so moleskin. So this is my weekly insert. This is my monthly insert. And my monthly, it's all handmade. My list book is all handmade. And then my journal is also a moleskin insert. This is the line one. Let me see. Can I show this to you? Let me see if there's anything in here that might be... If I can, then I'll show it. And if I can't, then I'll cover it up or whatever. But yeah, I just drew that and I did a journal entry. So that's a, a date dot. And I just used my stamps and I stamped coffee mug on there. The reason why I had these Moleskine booklets is because I wanted to try them out. I was actually using just homemade inserts because they are expensive. The, you know, buying these inserts are expensive. And then I have my receipts back here in the uh, secretarial pocket. And then I have this sticker that still has the backing on it and a little Tim Holtz clip. I love these clips. They're so easy in my little planners. And this is usually where I put my grocery list in the front so that if I'm out grocery shopping, which y'all, my goodness. 
this receipt from BJ's. If you're not familiar with BJ's wholesale, it's more of a northeastern type of warehouse. It's kind of like a Costco and kind of like a Sam's Club. We love it. It's so convenient. It's about five minutes away from our house. So we love it. And we've been going there. It's been about six months and we haven't really been shopping at Costco lately because it's 30 minutes away from our house, the Costco is. This is a grocery uh, list book that I made. I just used cardstock paper and I used a um, this tool and I love this tool. It makes perforated sheets so you can uh, tear it off. So let me show you. My husband brought the whole thing. I don't know why he brought the whole thing. So I just put it in my purse. I'm like, why did you bring the whole thing? <laughs> he was supposed to tear it off and give me the... Anyway, I just put a sticker on here. And these are just stickers on here. And I stapled it and then I covered it with, again, cardstock paper. And this is all just copy paper. Let's see. What was I talking about my daily planner? Oh, and I was in the middle of cleaning out my bag, right? Okay, so I have some Lysol wipes and I'm wearing my reading glasses right now. And then I have my little pouch. This is the extra small from Chic Sparrow and the meteorite leather, which is the reason why I ended up getting my planner in this leather because I absolutely love this leather. And so what's in here? Let me see. I've got my allergy meds. Did I take? Oh, no, I didn't take my medicine this morning. Okay, that's fine. Still have my spearmint chapstick. Love this thing. And then I have my lipstick from Revlon. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's all I have in there. Okay, let me put some more lotion on my hands. Like I said, we had negative temperatures last night. It was like negative five degrees or something like that. I don't know. I was actually off for the whole week last week. In addition to me having taken off like two weeks. One for the wedding trip and then a second for car repairs and I'm going to discuss that in another video not this video but I have my Burt's Bees hand cream and I have my keys in there my flashlight which I don't know if the battery needs changing but something is going on with this flashlight and let's see what else is in here my coin purse and I've got my change in there and if you all see dog hair uh <laughs> Sorry, but I do have a pet and he does shed. Okay, I'm not going to take all this stuff out because it has my driver's license and cash and stuff like that in there. But I have a new package of Kleenex and then I have one that has like probably one Kleenex left in it. And then I have my hand sanitizer. This is the one I bought in Japan and I've just been refilling it with uh, Purell. I had my pen in here. I think I'm becoming a little bit more bold about putting my pens in my handbags. Not on my Dooney and Burks, for sure not. This Pentel Energel 0.5. My compact mirror. I don't want to blind y'all, so I'm going to put it back in here. And then, yeah, that's it. So let me actually put all of this stuff back. I've still have my eye out on the Rachel handbag. I almost got it actually. It was in my shopping cart and I was gonna buy it because it was, oh, I think it was like 50 bucks. And really that was a, a great deal. I stopped myself from getting it because I had already gotten two other bags at that time. And I was like, okay, let me slow down. It's still in my uh, wish list, but I'm not gonna spend like, what is it now? Like 250, I think is what they're selling it for. I'm not gonna, I'm definitely not gonna buy it. I would rather go without than buy it for that price. There's, I mean, that's ridiculous. And y'all know prices have been going up. Okay, where was I? Here's the um, other part of what was in my Franken planner calendar. Let me move this stuff. Hold on. I'm gonna also move my handbag since y'all saw the bag of the day. I'm going to leave my everyday carry on here because we're going to talk about this still. So let me open this back up so I can show you all the last page. Okay, so I showed you this and this was the other half what was inside there i think the reason why i took it out is because it was getting too thick and i needed to add more pages in it but this is how i franken plan okay so i have okay october 21 okay i have those i don't sew them together the ones that i homemade i just use a rubber band if there's something on here that i can't show i'll probably just cover it these are my finished 
book. Two years of analog planning. I went back to analog planning after 18 years of digital planning. I was, of course, doing analog planning and journaling for 15 years before I went digital. Back in the 90s is when really we started getting into computers and then in the early 2000s, of course, the iPhone came out, right? Yeah, I just decided I didn't want to rely on technology anymore and that's why I went back to analog. Let me see. So I'll show you, what is this thing? Oh, it's a journal, uh, September 21st. November 22nd and this one. Oh, yeah, I love this um, sticker. I got it from Japan. I didn't stick it on there. I made a little pocket for it and then I used uh, paper clips. Let's see. Oh, this is how my weekly looks like. Very simple. And this is between May 2022 to August 2023. Y'all know that I flip-flop between my personal size, my pocket, and then, oh, I forgot to, oops, sorry. Actually, I forgot to show my uh, Nano. Cause my Nano ones came later. I didn't get the Nano for a really long time because I didn't know if I was gonna like that size because it was so tiny. Okay, so that's all my finished books. What is it, close to two years? So two and a half years, I suppose. So let me put this aside for a second. What was I talking about? Okay, I was talking about my pocket size. Okay, so yeah, that's what I do. I rubber band the ones that are homemade. These are um, homemade. And then I started getting into the Moleskine books because I wanted to try out the paper. Okay, so yeah, that's my weekly. Those are the dates for the weekly. And then again, my journal. And that's uh, February 26th to August 23 and then this one is November 22 to February of 23. What is this one? Oh, it's also journaling. So all of these are journals. That's right. Because when I started getting into the moleskins, I was just using it for journaling and for my weeklies. My list book and my calendars, I kept that regular uh, printer paper. I was still making my own. Okay. And then the nano books. These are also moleskin. I didn't write the dates on here. But I started getting into the Nano, I think, um, May of 2022. It is fairly new. It's been about a year and six months of me using it. And yeah, I journal and my calendar. Yeah, that's just an example. And then what is this one? Weeklies and there's my dailies. And here's my weeklies. Okay, so that's the Nano and the pockets. And then we come to the OG. <laughs> I started off with my personal TN. Let me grab it real quick. So this is my personal TN and it's got like, I don't know, drink marks scratches, all kinds of stuff on it. And the threads are already coming off on the string because I've used it so long. It's my very, very first. So I am not getting rid of it. I love it. This is the only personal size that I have. I have multiples of my pocket, multiples of my Nano, but I only have one personal size. And I thought about getting a different color for the personal size. There's particularly a color that I want in this. Everything that is in here is also in here. My system remains the same. So it was different when I first started off. I wanted to do the all-in-one. When I was planning in rings about, what is that, 15 plus 18 years ago, that's did the math, like 33 years ago. But I kind of add my journaling and my planning, both of those, because I started journaling when I was eight. But in terms of really planning, planning, I was about 15 or something like that. When I was doing my planning, I had everything, my calendar section, my weekly section, Section, everything was all in one in the rings. So I thought, okay, well, my traveler's notebook can also be that way. I did that for my original planning system when I went back to analog. I did that so I had my journaling in the um, first section and then I had my calendar. So, and I made tabs for the calendar. I started off with a more consecutive way of doing my calendar, you know, September, October, and then you see November there. But then I would also journal 
in between my calendars. Then I would also do my decorating in between and then I would have my calendar again. Some of these are blank in certain sections because I move about between my planners. Sometimes I'm in my personal size, sometimes I'm in my pocket, and then of course sometimes I'm in my nano. So I don't duplicate. So for instance, if I'm in my, like if I'm in my pocket for three weeks, whatever is in my pocket, uh, I'm not gonna, you know, like go back and what they call back plan. A lot of people do the back planning. I don't understand it. I don't understand the whole back planning thing. I'm not against it. Whatever you do, you, you do, you know, just do you. I'm not here to tell you any what to do we're all adults okay you can either like what i say dislike what i say it doesn't matter like no one in life is ever going to get through life without having people disagree with them that's just how life is so i know that uh, being a content creator i knew that before i started posting my life on youtube but i'm here to help even if it's just one person that i help i'm fine with that okay Oh my goodness. Look, first day back to the office. Oh my goodness. That was September of 2022. So I've been back to the office a year and September, October, November, December, January. So a year and four months. But of course, this week of snow and ice storms, yeah, it would have been better if we just stayed at home <laughs> working. Oh, this is how I used to track my YouTube. Oh, let me bring back my now I have my commonplace book and I um, track my videos in here now. So yeah, this is how I used to do it. I would just put like a little TV icon. So that's what I did. This was my first book, October 2021 to March of 2022. And my calendar was November 2021 to December of 2022. So that's the reason why I stopped is because as you can see, my journaling surpassed my calendar. I had journaled so much and I couldn't journal anymore. I had so much uh, calendars that I pre-made and that's another reason why I don't um, pre-make too many calendars anymore. If I pre-make my calendar, I start to waste my calendars because I'm switching between sizes. But I love, I absolutely love jumping between my uh, sizes, y'all. A lot of people are like, oh, I, I journal too much. I love it. I, I love jumping between my planners. Okay, so this one is, I think it's just journaling. Yeah, it's just journaling. March of 2022 to August 2022. I had both of these at one point because my calendar was up to December 2022. All of this was just journaling. I didn't add my calendar at all to it. All right, and then this one, why do I have July of 2022 here when I have August of 2022 here? I don't know. Oh, because this is not my journal. This is my weekly calendar. Yeah, I don't have anything sensitive on this one. Okay, that's that. I went sticker crazy on this one. <laughs> okay, so that's my personal size. My pockets and my pinnows. So yeah, I just, I wanted an overview of what it's been like for the last two years. Oops. <laughs> this rubber band's really old. Okay, so I just kind of wanted to go over how it's been journaling and planning analog style for the last couple of years. And I've enjoyed it. I don't know if I'm gonna continue uh, doing it y'all because I am okay I've told y'all this before I feel like a broken record but I am not a tree hugger I never have been I don't think I ever will be either okay so I think I'm done I hope you enjoyed this video wait what was I saying at the end I said something about I don't know if I'm going to continue analog journaling and planning because it's a lot of paper I know a lot of these manufacturers use recyclable or sustainable methods but during the 18 years of digital planning I didn't have to use anything really let me know what you use when you plan do you have multiple systems do you have multiple sizes? Do you use your ring planner, journal, what have you? Or do you use bound books or do you use strings? So I want to thank those who recently subbed and the ones that have been with me for quite some time. Really appreciate it and look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.